What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the realistic baton into LSPDFR. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops of the fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys and girls I'm going to be showing you how to install the realistic baton or realistic nightstick into your GTA 5 forward slash LSPDFR. Now this will actually uh, the kind of nightstick it is is the kind that that the police pull out and they and they sling it and it whips out. However, unfortunately in the game you don't get to sling it out. It's just you pull it out and it's already open. So it would be it would be cool if they had that feature where you could actually pull it out and sling it and then it would like open up for you. But anyway, guys, go ahead and click that link down there that says realistic baton or realistic uh, uh, nightstick, whatever I put. It's realistic something down there. It's gonna bring you to this page right here. GTA Five ASP AS ASP baton 1.0.0 guys uh, Let's not waste too much time. So this is what it's going to look like here guys. There's your baton. That's what it's going to look like uh, It's um, See how it is. It's got that It's it's a longer version. You see what I'm saying and uh, It's pretty cool. I like it. I dig it so far. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and scroll on down <clears throat> and um, Click download this file right here All right, and we're gonna be downloading two files, guys. We're gonna be downloading the realistic baton, and we're gonna be downloading WinRAR. You gotta have something to open your files with. What do you want to do with the DD GTA 5 ASP baton .rar? All right, guys, you can click save right here, and I'll put it directly into your downloads folder in your file explorer, or you can click save as and put it where you want. I would highly recommend your desktop. All right, so now that you guys have got that, let's go ahead. The next one, click that next link that says WinRAR. It's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. Um, <clears throat> most of you know what this is. Uh, it's just, you can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip. I highly recommend WinRAR. Um, it's just a, I just, I like it. It's just a good program, I believe, I think, in my opinion. So here's what you do, guys. You got, you got all these different languages. So what you're going to do, you're going to select your language, and then you're going to select the bit that your computer is, it, that your computer is, okay? So, for example, my language is English. I'm right here, and I'm going to select 64-bit. But if I was had a 32-bit, I would select 32-bit, okay? So, English for me, 64-bit. It's going to say, what do you want to do with WinRAR uh, x64571.exe? Now, guys, listen to me. <clears throat> Go ahead and save this, and then run it, because... The PC has to install this program, okay? So it has to go through the setup wizard. So make sure you save it, and then you run it, okay? Make sure you do that. And once you get that done, your folders will look like this, all right? Now, before, if you haven't got WinRAR installed, uh, your folders would just be a regular folder, kind of like what this looks like right here. See that? That's all my uh, LCPDFR tutorials, guys. That is coming to the YouTube channel very, very soon. I am working on that. It's a pretty easy installation process, guys, so far from what I've seen and what I've read and worked with. It's pretty simple. Uh, but anyway, guys, your folder will look like that, like a plain Jane folder if you don't have WinRAR installed. However, after WinRAR installed, your folders will look like this, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. It's going to take some open IV. <coughs> I don't know why, but every time I get on a tutorial with you guys, I'm trying to fix my mic. My throat starts clogging up. I don't know why. All right, so open up your Open IV, guys, and then go ahead and double click your uh, DD GTA Five to uh, DD Five DD GTA Five ASP Baton. Go ahead and double click that and open it up. It's gonna bring up this page right here. Now, as you guys can see, I'm gonna minimize my winter arm. I'm already in the pathway right here, okay? But I'm going to lead you guys through this. All right. So here is where you want to go. Okay, guys. So with your with your uh, Open IV open and your edit mode on, of course. Make sure your edit mode is on. It has to be on. 
you want to go to mods and I'm going to say this slowly update time 64 DLC packs then you want to take your mouse and scroll down to patch day three. Make sure it is patched. It has to be patch day three, guys. It has to be. Okay. Patch day three. And then click DLC.RPF. Time 64. Models. CD images. And then, last but not least, weapons.rpf. And that will bring you to this page right here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So, these are all your weapons from patch day three. Uh, the thing, thing about the patch days is each patch day has a different set of weapons because there's so many weapons in the game itself. And that's what all them patch days are, guys. It's weapons, vehicles, props, you know, just different things in the game. So, here's what you got to do, guys. Bring that, uh, if you already have your winner up, uh, this is what you're going to do. If not, double click and bring it up. And we're going to double click DD GTA 5 ASP baton right there. Okay. Then you're going to double click models right there. Now, see how this says W underscore me underscore nightstick? That's what you're looking for in here, guys. So go up here in the search tab where I'm at right here, guys. See where I just clicked in there? In the right corner of your of your open IV. I almost said winner are. In the right corner of your open IV and type in W underscore me underscore night and there is your nightstick right here guys all you want to do is highlight both of these right here if I can get it to work highlight both of these grab them drag them and drop them in there okay that's all you got to do make sure your edit mode is on this is what happens I'm gonna show you guys what happens if your edit mode is not on you try to drag and drop something okay so my edit mode is off this is what you're gonna get if your edit mode is off See that circle with the line through it? That's how you know your edit mode is off, guys, okay? However, when it is on, okay, when it is on, it will allow you to drag files into here. See that? Okay? So, like I said, guys, just one more time because you guys know I go through everything thoroughly. If I can get this to work correctly, Lord have mercy. Grab both of those, highlight them, grab them, drag them, and drop them right there, guys. That is pretty much it. You can exit out of that. Um, if you guys want to, you want to save this pathway right here just in case we need it later on. We're probably going to. Um, again, make sure your edit mode is on. Go over here to your favorites. Click Add to Favorites. Okay. It's going to say Weapons.RPF. Click Add. All right. Just remember, guys, if you added the other Weapons.RPF, which is in Patch Day 8, You'll have two weapons.rpf right there. So just remember which one is which, okay? So like if I click this one right here, see how my patch day changes to eight? This is where we installed all of our weapons and stuff, okay? Like our Glock, our Bushmaster, our shotgun and all that. But if you go to the other one, watch the patch day right here change. Watch it change. Goes back to patch day three. See that? Pretty cool, huh, guys? So hit edit mode on your open IV. Close out of that. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Go ahead and close out of your WinRAR, guys. Get rid of that shortcut. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for the love and support today. Get <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. It means so much to me. I just hit 2,200 subs yesterday. I have... Let's see. We have nearly 700 members in the Discord, guys. Seven hundred members guys it's growing so so fast i love you guys so much for it man i can never ever thank you guys enough for all the love and support you guys show me on a daily basis um i did receive a donation the other day i'm not gonna say his name out loud because he may not want that and for privacy purposes i don't say people's names out loud anyway that donate to me but i will tell how much the donation was I actually got a $50 donation, $50 donation from one of my subscribers of the day, guys. And if you're listening and you know who you are, dude, I just want to tell you, man, thank you so much. Bro, when I seen that, it humbled me. It humbled me. It, and you guys know that I'm a humble guy, okay? 
I'm a very humble person. You guys know that. And when I seen that donation, man, I just want you to know it literally brought tears to my eyes. $50 may not seem like a lot to most people, but when you're doing stuff like this day and night, as I am, and you see that $10 donation, that $25, the $50, even just $2 donation, it's so appreciated. It's so very much appreciated. You guys just don't even know. But it literally brought tears to my eyes when I seen that donation. So I just want to tell you, man, the guy that donated to me, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. And I know that you had asked me to do a certain video for you, and I will have that up for you Monday morning, sir. I will have it up for you, buddy. I promise you have my word. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. This is your daily LSPFR tutorial. Go into your game. Check out your new nightstick. Just pull up your nightstick. Should be right there. You're going to love it, guys. I promise. So next time, to the next video, until the next tutorial, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.